guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, don't be alarmed, don't be scared, my makeup looks like this for a reason. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the do's and don'ts to create big, open, bright, wide eyes. So I don't know if you can tell, but one side of my face has those techniques applied and the other has pretty much the opposite techniques applied. Now, not to say that either one is better or worse. I'm not trying to say these are the do's and don'ts of makeup. This video is really teaching you the do's and don'ts if you are trying to create a bigger, wider, more open eye. Some of us have big, bright, beautiful open eyes and we maybe we want to diminish that or make them a little bit more almond shape or make our lid space look a little bit smaller. And I still think this video will be helpful for you because you might want to follow the tips and tricks for the other side. This video is really to teach you all about color placement, color selection, and texture selection in terms of matte and shimmer, and where to place those to really create uh, the perfect enhancement or shape of your eye, whatever you're trying to achieve, whether you want to achieve a rounded eye or an almond eye or diminish a larger lid or create the appearance of a larger lid. I have this video filled with tips and tricks that can help you achieve that. If you are newer to my channel and you enjoy these videos, definitely subscribe. These are my favorite videos to film. I really like to break down makeup in an easy, attainable, and understandable way. I don't like to just tell you guys to put this here and put this here. I wanna explain the why behind it because our faces are all so unique. None of us in this world have the exact same face. So sometimes when you're watching YouTube videos and you follow them to a T, it might not be exactly what you're trying to achieve with your features. So understanding the why, why we put product where we do or why we place shimmer here or matte here or bright here or dark here. That will really allow you to approach your makeup in the most ideal and customizable way for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. So first things first, I am going to go ahead and prime both eyelids. And I like to use a primer that is pretty translucent. As you can see, it really just slightly brightens my natural skin tone, but there's no color to it. This way it doesn't really alter the color of the shadow that I choose to put on it, but it slightly gives a little bit of brightness on the eyelid. And I just like to use my finger to just blend this out. So this primer is by Wander Beauty. It's the Smooth Saline 360 Eye Primer. This is my first time to use it. I'm gonna have all the products that I use listed in the description box below. I'm gonna try not to talk too much specifically about certain products in this video because I want this video to be more about technique and teaching than necessarily the product. But if you're curious, everything will be linked down below. So on the left side, we're going to be doing all the tips and tricks to make your eyes appear brighter, bigger, more open. And on the right side, we'll basically be doing the opposite. So you can really see side by side how makeup technique and how makeup theory um, can enhance and kind of um, exaggerate your features. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm using a matte mid-tone shade that's several shades darker than my natural skin tone, but not too dark. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to show you product, but I'm going to show you the shade I'm using. It's the it's this shade right here, it's called Bucked, and it is in the uh, Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. So you can see that this shade is definitely darker than my skin tone, but it's not one of the darkest shades in the palette. It's not uh, necessarily dark enough to be like an eyeliner shade. Now I am going to apply this, oh, look at this, this is creasing a little bit. Um, now I'm gonna apply this in my crease, and I'm gonna go back and forth, almost like a windshield wiper motion, and I'm gonna create kind of a rounded shape. If you notice, I'm really kind of rounding my brush to create that more round eye. And I'm actually gonna switch brushes. I'm not a fan of that brush. We're gonna go with my good old trusty 224 by MAC. Now I want this to be a very sheer wash. I don't want it to be uh, really intense. I don't wanna cut crease. I don't want anything really stark. I just want kind of like a diffused um, halo of color start, that starts in my crease and softly like diffuses up. And you can see that I'm really working back and forth, back and forth to create that shape. You can see that I'm holding my brush pretty far out. I'm almost holding it to the end of the handle versus like choking up on it. This is gonna allow my hand more range of motion so I really can blend that product out and get a nice soft wash of color. 
Now what this step is doing, it is such an important step, you guys. This is creating dimension in your eye. It's giving you a more defined crease. It it's also tricking the eye of those that are looking at you to create like a more rounded eye. It's also lifting your eye because I am pulling that a little bit higher. It's tricking the eye to think that that area is a little bit more lifted than it is naturally. So you can already tell that this eye has more dimension than this eye with nothing on it. So what I'm gonna do on the right side is I'm gonna go in, but I'm going to use a darker shade and I'm gonna use a shimmer shade. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. You can see it's quite a bit darker than the one we just used and it's got a lot of shimmer. Now the way that shimmer and matte plays with uh, light and makeup is shimmer is going to basically make an, an area look flatter. It's gonna make an area look like it's coming towards you where matte is gonna recede light and it's going to make something look like it's going in. So with using a matte shade, I'm creating more definition in the crease. Using a shimmer dark shade, I'm basically um, reflecting that light, kind of pushing the eyelid out Bit, a bit more. So I'm gonna put that in the same area, but instead of going real rounded, I'm gonna kind of pull it out so it's almost more elongated. Now don't get me wrong, you guys. Everything you're gonna see me doing on this side, I'm not saying that it's wrong, and I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that if you're trying to create a more open, rounded, bright eye, this is the technique that you wanna go with. So don't think that if you do your makeup like this, it's wrong. Um, you might just like a more elongated cat eye. Uh, that is totally fine. I do my makeup like this sometimes too. So I'm going a lot darker and I'm kind of pulling that out a little bit, like I said, to just create more of like a kind of pulled out uh, elongated eye. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of darkness right here in the outer corner. Um, just in the outer corner though, I'm just gonna concentrate it here. This is also going to kind of exaggerate and emphasize that real rounded eye because we're going from darker to gradually lighter and we're gonna keep all the lightness here. It's going to basically contrast with that light and make that lightness pop even more, which is essentially what's giving you those larger, brighter, more wide eyes. So I'm gonna go into the palette and I'm just using a really dark uh, matte brown Brown. and I'm using this little pencil brush. This is the pencil brush E30 by Sigma. And I'm basically just kind of placing that in the slightest little V shape. You can see that it kind of pulls down and meets my lash line. And then I slightly take it up here into the very, very outer fourth of my crease. I'm just placing it with this brush. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to soften it with my 224 brush, the brush we just used in the crease. Now, if you ever have a hard time blending, like if you ever place really dark matte shadow like that, I do have another video on a really cool trick that can help blend that a little bit better. I'll link it down below, but basically what you wanna do is just grab a shade that's similar in color to the matte one you just used, but uh, that has a little bit of shimmer because shimmer tends to blend out a little easier. So you can just take that shimmer and pop it right on there and it's gonna, uh, soften all the edges a little bit. Now I'm gonna do a similar technique on the right eye, but instead of keeping it just in the outer corner, I'm gonna bring it over um, to consume quite a bit of the eyelid space. So I'm using a bigger brush. This is the Masterpiece Crease Brush by Makeup of the Day Brushes, I think is what it's called. You can just see the shape. It's not so important that you have these exact brushes that I'm using, but you can see the shape of this brush. So, so now I'm just gonna go and apply that color just like I did on the other eye, except you can see that I'm taking this quite a bit over to, oh gosh, let's just take it halfway over the lid and kind of just feather it into the inner corner a little bit, or the inner half, I should say, okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with that 224 just like I did, and I'm gonna kind of soften the edges. I'm not trying to make this eye look bad. Keep in mind, I'm not trying to teach you the do's and don'ts of makeup. Again, I'm just teaching you the do's and don'ts of uh, trying to create a bigger, rounder eye. So. I'm going to just soften this a little bit with my 224 brush until there's not really any harsh edges. It's gonna take a little bit more work because I'm working with a darker matte shade and a lot of it. Okay. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my lightness on the inner half of the lid and the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with a shimmery shade because shimmer reflects light, it uh, brings calls more attention to that. So if you have a smaller lid, like I feel like I do, I don't have a lot of lid space right here, I want to bring more attention to it. I wanna exaggerate it a little bit, so I'm gonna pop a really light shimmery shade there. Um, and I'm just using the lightest gold in this palette. It's called Barely Baked. 
and I am just like popping that right in the center of the lid and I'm just pressing it on with a little shader brush. And you want it to meet the darkness, but you don't want to cover up that darkness. You want to keep that contrast between the two. And I'm leaving the very, very inner corner bare because I'm gonna go in with an even brighter color to even uh, pop that a little bit. So we're just gonna keep that right, right here. So I don't know if you can already tell the difference between the two eyes and which one looks smaller and which one looks more open. But we are getting there. So what I wanna do on the right eye is I wanna show you applying a shimmery shade that is darker. So I'm gonna use the shade Distilled in the palette. It's kind of a nice, rich, dark chocolate brown, but it has a little bit of shimmer. And we are gonna pop that right here in the kind of more inner half of the lid. We're just gonna bring that all the way to the inner corner right there. So next what I wanna do is I wanna take the lightest shade in the palette, it's called Bribe, and I'm going to pop this just right here in the inner corner, and that's actually a little too white. I don't like how um, bright that is, so I'm just gonna take a clean brush, and I'm just gonna kind of soften it a little bit. I could have avoided that by just taking this brush initially to apply it, but I'm gonna take that brush. Then I'm gonna take the same shade and I'm gonna apply it right underneath my brow, right on that brow bone. This is going to help lift the eye because again, it's calling attention right here to that brow bone, so it's making the eye look more lifted. It's all about contrasting light and dark shades together. You can see that I've got the light here, the darker here, I've got the light here, the darker here. Putting those variations of tones next to each other really enhances them and makes them pop. So for the right eye, I'm gonna go in with a light shade for the brow, but I'm gonna go with something that's a little bit darker. Let me just show you. So for the left eye with the br more bright open eye, I use this shade right here. And for the right eye, I'm gonna go on the opposite side and use this shade. It's hard to tell in this palette, but the this shade has a little bit more shimmer, and this is uh, more of like a kind of a, a velvety matte shade. So I'm gonna go in with that shade, and I'm gonna put that right underneath my brow. It's pretty much the color of my skin. It's not really any brighter than my skin. In fact, you can see that it kind of just blends into my skin. So you can see that doesn't really do anything for the eye. It doesn't really lift the eye. It doesn't really highlight that brow bone. It doesn't um, give that kind of lifted, more rounded look. It just, it's, it's, it's just there. Do you see the difference? So hopefully you can tell that by putting a lighter shade with a little bit more sheen, you can see how it really lifts the brow bone and really lifts the eye, makes it appear more open versus going with something that is too close to your skin tone and that doesn't really have any bit of sheen to it. I'm not saying you have to go really frosty or shimmery because that also can go wrong really quick, but you want something with a little bit of a sheen to it. Okay, let's talk liners. So I'm gonna use the same eyeliner on both sides, but I'm gonna change the eyeliner technique. You guys know that I love my Kat Von D uh, Tattoo Ink, is that the name of this <laughs> product? Tattoo liner. And I'm just gonna change the shape and the way that I line the eyes. So for the right side, I'm basically gonna take that liner, I'm gonna take it from the furthest inner corner to the uh, furthest outer corner. And you know that when I get right out to the inner half, I kind of just pull it out a little bit and create the softest little wing. But what I'm doing differently here than what I normally do in my tutorials really is taking it all the way to the inner corner. Depending on your eye shape, and especially for someone like me that has, I have pretty small eyes and they're very almond shape. If I wanna create a more rounded eye, I don't wanna bring it all the way over to the inner corner because it really is such a harsh product. The, I mean, li black liquid liner is a really harsh liner. It does really make the eye appear smaller and more closed off. So what I'm gonna do on the other side to make the eye appear more rounded and bigger is I'm gonna start my liner um, almost about halfway, slightly a little more than halfway and I'm going to create kind of like a rounded line. So to do that, what you wanna do is have this uh, inner part be as thin as possible and then have it slightly get a little thicker right here above the iris. That creates that round effect. Then when you start pulling the liner down, you can pull it and wing it out. So you can still have that elongation of your eye if you like that, which I do, 
but you can also achieve that rounded look by concentrating the thicker part of the liner right above the iris. And of course, not taking it all the way to the inner corner. Do you see what liner does and do you see how it can completely change the shape of the eye? Okay, so this next step I'm really excited to share with you because I think this is gonna be one of those aha moments. I get asked all the time, in fact, I just got asked the other day in our Facebook group page, which is best, a nude bright liner in the inner rim or a dark liner in the inner rim? And it's hard to say which is best because it's not really one is better than the other, but they just do different things to the eye. So a nude liner is going to create a more open, uh, rounded, bright eye. So I'm gonna show you how that looks right here in the left. And when I'm looking for an inner rim liner, I like something that's lighter than my skin tone, but that still looks like a skin tone. I stay away from this stark white liners. They don't look natural and they're too distracting, I think. I think when someone has that in their eye, it's very hard to notice anything else except that. So I like to go with something that is either like a peachy or a pink um, natural skin tone that's lighter than your natural skin tone. So for the right eye, we're gonna go in with a true black liner. This is the uh, Urban Decay 24-7 in this shade Zero. And we are just gonna go back and forth in line the inner rim, and we're gonna go from the furthest outer corner to the furthest inner corner. Now, either way you go, I think it is important to do some liner just below that, underneath your lashes, because that is going to just kind of complete and finish the look. I think it looks very odd if you don't. So what I'm gonna do on this side is I'm gonna go in with a brown, kind of like a, um, almost like a bronzy brown shade, not a black, and I'm just gonna kind of create uh, a little bit of a rounded line and I'm gonna stop about midway over. I'm basically not taking it any further than my iris ends. And then on the other side, we'll go do the same thing, but we're gonna do it with black and we're gonna take it over a little bit further. Now you can see here that you can still see my natural skin tone through the liner. I didn't get close enough or I didn't get enough on there to really conceal that. So I'm gonna go in with the shadow to just smudge that out and blend it. Now on this side, I'm gonna go in with the same shade that I used in my crease. So it's that shade that's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, but not too dark. Uh, and I'm gonna just basically uh, work this on top of that liner to soften that liner and give it more of like a smoky look. And basically kind of end, the, kind of diffuse the line where it stops. So I don't want it to be a harsh line where it stops where you, where you can get that look with just a pencil alone. This is gonna create a softer, a, seam, a softer seamless kind of end. And on this side, I'm gonna go in with the really, really dark matte brown shade that we used on the outer corner, and I'm just gonna go over this. This is just gonna kind of blend that black so that it looks uh, consistent and you can't really see any of the skin. And this is gonna take a little bit more work. I never wear black eyeliner on my eyes. It's so harsh for me. Don't get me wrong, I think black eyeliner on the bottom is stunning. I see it on others and I've tried it so many times for myself, but I just don't think it's complimentary to me. But don't get me wrong, you guys, this is just me and my personal preferences. If you're watching this and you're thinking, but I love black eyeliner on myself, please don't let this video um, discourage you from doing it. The purpose of this video really is to show you how light, dark, texture, and placement of shadows can either open an eye up, make an eye appear smaller, uh, more rounded, and just change the shape of your eye. That's what the purpose of this video is, you guys. So the next thing that I'm gonna do on the left eye is I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'll be totally honest, you guys, this is not something that I do day to day, um, mainly out of laziness, but if you really wanna make your eyes appear larger and more open, this step can make the biggest difference. So I'm just gonna kind of curl those. Then I'm gonna go in and apply my lash primer and my mascara on both lashes. I did a mascara video recently on tips to get the most volume and fullness at the root of your lashes. I'll have that link down below. But you'll notice, if you watch that video, you'll notice me now, that's how I apply my mascara. You'll probably notice that in every video now. Next, you wanna apply a little bit on the lower lashes. So you can see that by curling the lashes, it clearly made these lashes lift more and give a more round open eye versus this. I mean, this looks great. This is normally how my lashes look, but just doing that little extra step really does make a big difference. 
Okay, and the last thing that you can do is add a little bit of brightness right here in the inner corner. And I'm just gonna go in and use the shade that I used underneath the brow. And I'm using a big fluffy brush because it's important that I don't want this to be too intense. I don't want this to be very obvious. I want this to look like a little bit of light. So if I use a small stiff brush, it's just gonna look, it's not gonna look good. I want something very, very light. I'm even tapping my brush so I don't have too much excess. And I have the slightest pressure, you guys the slightest pressure. So I just wanna go in there and give a little bit of lightness right in the inner corner. And then we are done. So hopefully you can tell between the two eyes, obviously they're completely different looks, but I pretty much use the same shades. I just changed the placement of them. So hopefully this video really demonstrated to you um, how choosing color range and how choosing texture in terms of shimmer and matte and how placement of your shadows can really um, exaggerate, enhance, or alter your eye shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are my favorite videos to film. I absolutely love teaching makeup in an easy, attainable, and understandable way. Um, I don't like to just tell you to put this here, put this the here, oh, I love this, put this here. I like to explain the why behind it so that you understand, you know, when you're watching these makeup tutorials, why they're doing the things that they're doing. Um, and you also understand that uh, not everything translates on each other the same way. You we all have different shapes to our eyes, to our nose, to our lips, different features, different things that we want to enhance or exaggerate. So understanding the why behind it and why we place products in the manner that we do really, I think, allows you to approach your makeup in a very customizable way that's uh, best for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.